Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking, Divine Debut 11. You will have the ability here to see part of a larger Twin Flame Soulmate reading. So we've taken the individual uh, little love messages for all signs and cut the video for those of you that want a quick fix, a quick message. If you're wanting the whole video, it's a two hour video, which premiered just yesterday. So uh, you can get the link beneath this video if you want the general overview of what's going on with you and your twin flame. Okay, so enjoy it. We will have the timestamps beneath so that you can check out your sun, moon, rising, your Venus, your Mars, and your North Node placement if you are familiar with those. So short love messages for all signs. Enjoy. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the twin flame there and also going to take my twin flame card and put it on this side because there is a potential reconciliation. We did have the three of cups and we are in a Mercury retrograde. Jupiter is still retrograde, Uranus is still retrograde and Chiron too. So, dear spirit, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars and North Node. What is going on in the now? Let's leave it as a timeless. What's going on in the now and in the coming future for Aries in love? Remember, this is general, my dear friends. So for Aries, we've got a transition. So we've got the chariot. Uh, all systems go for Aries. Some of you could be dealing with a foreigner. You could be meeting someone, a twin flame, or connecting with a past person um, when you're in... Um, travel mode okay this could be a, a literal or a metaphorical transition in love but this is a journey that's opening up for you okay so good luck good luck dear Aries let's go to the next sign which is Taurus Taurus Sun Moon rising Venus Mars and the North Node what is going on for Taurus please spirit Taurus the bull. Taurus. Taurus in love. And remember, even if this is not a reconciliation dealing with someone from the past, it could be someone that feels like a twin flame or a soulmate that may feel familiar to you. Or for some of you, it's someone that Possibly also uh, you've known, but you this you never had a relationship with. Anyway, for Taurus, please, we've got the Lily. So this is the Judgment card and also t uh, Temperance. So there's a resurrection for Taurus. Also a divine spiritual connection, could be a past connection. Um, you're dealing, this is Virgo energy, so I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo. Could be a Scorpio, could be a... Um, also, uh, Sagittarius could be a foreigner. Uh, Spirit is saying be patient. Things are being worked out for you. You will hear, hear a calling and there will be a resurrection, second chances, but through crisis. There's a, there's a, um, a purification process going on. There's also a very strong sexual connection for Taurus. But you're dealing with someone that's very ethical. Um, they don't prefer third-party situations and secret love affairs. Okay, someone who likes to do things by the book. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, North Node. Gemini, play spirit. What's going on in love for Gemini moving forward? What's going on for the twins? What's going on in love for Gemini? We've got a transition We've got choices, um, opportunities. Some of you may be coming out of separation. Uh, there's a new path that's open. It's a difficult decision. Um, yeah, if you've been in another commitment, it's been a heavy load to carry. 
Uh, but your ships are coming in where love is concerned. The gifts are coming in. It's as though you've wished for this. Um, it's the three of wands. So some of you may be dealing with a foreigner and you're closing up a, a heavy cycle as well. There will be opportunities um, also to travel and uh, hesitation in decisions, but opportunities for for Gemini. Okay, so wonderful, wonderful. A lot of fire. You may be dealing with a fire sign, dear Gemini. Cancer, please, spirit. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node. What's going on in love for Cancer? Cancer. Cancer, you've got um, a second chance in love. Uh, the key, the key means second chances, but also you've got the ability to heal a past connection, um, forgive and forget, and move on. Um, this could be a second home, a second relationship. You could be uh, dealing with two people at the same time. Um, nevertheless, you've got the magician, so you may be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Um, this could be a wish fulfillment for you, for some of you, or some of you are going through some some wounding, trying to heal the wounding. Um, if this is you hoping for a second chance with a particular person, um, there is a potential for that, for a second chance. Um, you may also be needing to get a little bit of advice um, from someone who has that knowing, someone who can advise you, marriage counseling or something like that. This could speak to wishes granted for some of you and opportunities as the stars align for you. But for others of you, there could also be trickery and infidelity. All right. So that was for cancer. Did I say Gemini? If I did, I'm sorry. Let's go on to Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars. And the North Node. What's going on for Leo? Leo the Lion. Leo, big heart. Brave heart, Leo. What's going on in love for Leo? My Leo friends. What's going on in love? Okay, Leo's uh, been dealing with some loss of a stable stable ground where relationships are concerned maybe because of ego um this does speak to and money and finances also play a big part in the challenges that you are facing or you will be facing pertaining to a relationship or the security of a relationship there is stability but right now it's not 100 percent stable at there as there is possible financial um, difficulties that sort of weigh heavily on the stability of a long-term relationship. Okay, and this could also speak to values, uh, a little bit of ego, back and forth. But because it's a card of earth, you may be dealing with an earth sign, but also there is great security and there's a lot of abundance, but it doesn't come to you straight away. Okay, so there is some doubt okay but if you're going through a challenging season now know that the security the long term and the how can i say the security is there for a long-term relationship a very influential and a very um just what you've asked for we've got a crown here we've got gold we've got riches so you're going to find what you're looking for my beautiful leo uh, a relationship with a, a very important person, a VIP, just like you are. So, wow, what a message that was for Leo. All right, Virgo. Dear Spirit, what's going on for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node in a Virgo. What's going on in love for Virgo, please, Spirit? Virgo. Virgo the Virgin. Virgo the mother, Virgo, the servant. What's going on for Virgo? 
Virgo. Virgo. I'm finding it hard to choose for Virgo. Wow, okay, the keys. Who else had this? Was it Gemini? I can't even remember. Anyway. Two keys means second choices, second opportunities, leaving a certain marriage and committing to another. This is an open wound. This is something that was very fated. You've got the magician, Virgo. You are the magician yourself. It's like the stars will align. You can pull a rabbit out of a hat. Okay, this can also speak to wishes granted. This could speak to a second home. Um, maybe possibly not moving in with this person straight away. Because I see two, two different homes. Unless you're connecting with someone that has got uh, some properties. There will be opportunities for you and second chances. But because I see the keys as um, it's like blocked, um, when, the time is, when the time is right, when Mercury is direct, obviously, um, you will know if it's all systems go. Whilst Mercury is retrograde, of course, past situations and people can return, but they may return so that they could finish up in your life and then when mercury is direct you will have more information it's all systems go for virgo okay and also through relationships virgo will find uh, the ability to heal themselves but also it's like you found the person that's going to heal you it's a very equal connection i get here so congratulations virgo and of course, not only both of you may have had your own uh, personal uh, romantic issues as well, because two keys, you both hold a similar open wound relative to the past, past lifetime, your childhood, so on and so forth, which you can heal. All right, next sign, Libra. Dear Libra, Libra, sun, moon, rising. Venus, Mars, and the North Node. What is the message? What is the message for Libra? Libra in love. Libra. Libra, similar message to another sign. Uh, was it Gemini? Maybe maybe Virgo got the same message with Cancer. I can't remember, but this is the Three of Wands and the Ten of Wands. A lot of fire, a lot of desire. Now, you've been carrying a heavy load, this huge anchor. It's as though you're picking up anchor and you're transitioning. There's change in love. You could be dealing with a foreigner, dear Libra. Your ships are coming in. You've wished for this, so your gifts are coming in. But you're also in a transition. You could be meeting someone um whilst on travel someone that sort of feels like a gift or a wish fulfillment to you but i see that you're still i mean um it's like you're carrying a heavy load like you're carrying something to do with your past uh with you 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 should not carry things from the past with you um and the cards are also saying be grounded yes there is a possible wish fulfillment and you're transitioning here. There's a lot of desire. You're closing up a heavy cycle, but you're waiting on those ships. It may take a little bit longer than what you expect. You will have a lot of uh, decisions um, to make and you will have opportunities as well, possibly with foreign foreigners, foreign place, someone that comes from a foreign place, nevertheless. Okay, Libra. So... Um, It's like you're finishing up with something really heavy and you're waiting on the return of what you've wished for and what where you put your your um, energy into okay good luck dear libra that was for you let's have a look now at scorpio what's going on for scorpio please spirit scorpio sun moon rising venus mars north node in scorpio 
Scorpio. What's going on in love for Scorpio? What's possibly showing up for Scorpio? Scorpio, a lot of desire, a lot of passion. I do get a spiritual connection with this card. Um, there's great desire. There's great desire indeed. Um, a lot of fire, a lot of air. So a lot of communication, a lot of passion. Um, too much fire can burn. Be careful. Um, there could be explosive situations for you where and i'm gonna say it can feel a little bit um how can i say it frustrating when you cannot release or relieve your desires your passion i feel that some of you may be trying to hold back on information and and truths and not being totally open which could sort of backfire on you but this to me also speaks to a possible spiritual connection for some of you a lot of changes and a lot of desires um to connect deeply with someone um, possibly fears of opening up truthfully but uh, through action and through connection through sexual connection i i guess that you can pass on the message to your person they will feel very special unless this is someone else you're dealing with i get more that it's you all right so there's a lot of warmth a lot of desire here but remember that it can also tinge and burn if it does not find a an escape route a, a release point okay so that's it for scorpio good luck scorpio let's go on to sagittarius sagittarius sun moon rising venus mars and north node if you know where those are placed for you in your personal birth chart. I chose this card because it reminds me of the twin flame. They meet together up in the clouds. Uh, it's not necessary that it is a reconciliation, okay? But it's more of a twin flame uh, for me, which a twin flame, you know, they do go through many lifetimes. Um trying to find each other so let's see Sagittarius yes I feel this is your message you've got good luck Sagittarius this is the good luck card this is a Jupiterian card it is the will of fortune so the path is is paved and um, laid out for you the home is a relationship so, so this speaks to for many of you a very lucky uh, relationship feeling very lucky uh within a relationship feeling as though you've got everything you need um there's a lot of optimism happiness um a lot of travel with this person possibly as well this is someone that will be very truthful with you it's as though you're finding your other half what can i say i mean you are sagittarius ruled by jupiter and you've got a jupiterian card so I'm wondering if that's not another Sagittarius or it could be a Pisces. Could it? Could it be? I don't know. Could it possibly also be a Taurus for some of you? Maybe because your ruling planet is in Taurus. Um, what can I say? I, I hope that that is the case for you. But you're very, very lucky in love. The clover, the lucky clover many opportunities for you and lots of abundance okay there's an ending of a cycle and an, a beginning of a new cycle because it is the jupiter card which is a 10 which turns into an ace okay so good luck with that sagittarius congratulations beautiful card it's interesting no one's gotten the card the heart yet there's one heart card here and no one has gotten that yet let's look at capricorn sun moon rising venus mars and north node what's going on for capricorn i know good things are coming in for capricorn they've been through the through the mill and they deserve they deserve some happiness what's going on for capricorn capricorn sun moon rising venus mars north node capricorn 
We've got romance. Yes, romance is blooming. Dating. This is the... Is this the Four of Wands? I think it is. Possible uh, dating, romance, and a possibility for something long term. This is um, also getting together with friends, maybe a friend turning into a lover, um, uh, you're, you being valued and people showing you that, surely. Uh, it's like the 1111. A very important relationship I get comes in for Capricorn. It is a number six, which is also the number of the lovers. So a lot of happiness, a lot of potential partners. You choose Capricorn, congratulations. That is beautiful. You're the only sign that got that card. So let's go on to Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, which is going to be dealing with Pluto. My goodness, Aquarius. What a metamorphosis your lives are going to go through. What's going on in love for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and the North Node. What is going on for Aquarius? We've got the Emperor. So we've got a Divine Masculine. This could be the King or an Emperor. So this is a Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine is about maturity. This could be a particular person, could be under this, uh, any sign. Um, I do see him mostly as an Emperor, but he looks like fire. I see fire with the love heart and the red, yes, um, unless this is an Aries, which would be the Emperor. I, I do want to take another card because it is an individual here. So we see a Divine Masculine. Now, whether if you're a Divine Masculine, then this could be your energy. Those of you that, that are into Divine Masculines, then this is your person. Um, A friend that could be turning into a lover. We've got the full card here. So Aries comes through very strongly as well. Something to do with loyalty, friendship, but also a dog. Dog. Uh, someone's best friend. Falling in love with a best friend or someone who's got a dog or something like that. It is the fool. So the fool is also Aquarius. So some of you are taking a leap of faith with a friendship. Um... So you're taking action. We've got the masculine energy. So you're chasing, you're chasing a relationship and there will be loyalty and protection here because we see the dog protecting the relationship, which is the house. Okay. So yes, this could be a friend that's turning into a lover as well, dear Aquarius. So that's what I have for you. And uh, I'm going to say also that some of you may have been stuck in a karmic situation that is coming to a close because of the 15 and the 21 and uh, going for someone that is quite different to you, comes from a different part of the world, could be a foreigner. All right, so Aquarius, hope that helped. Pisces, lucky last as always, dear Pisces, you've learned to be patient. My beautiful Pisces friends, let's see, last but not least, and the best <laughs> is Pisces. I guess Pisces, uh, I'm a Virgo rising, so Pisces is my seventh house of relationships. So maybe I could watch your sign, Pisces, as to what's going on in love for me, right? So you can look at it like that, Pisces, depending on your rising sign. So dear spirit, Pisces, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node. I'm going to say my seventh house, which is my relationship house. Let's see what's coming up for me. So maybe you can check out your seventh house sign if you're familiar with it. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. Pisces. We've got the sun. So you're dealing with a Leo. You're going through a healing. There's a reconciliation. The path is open. There's a new beginning. You're dealing with someone that's uh, famous, well-known, very creative, can have a bit of an ego, someone that's going to warm your life, someone that's going to protect you. Um, and you're going through a healing, someone that's going to want to play 
with you. They're going to flirt with you. This could be a fire sign, more Leo. Um, it's an ace. So also someone who could be a magician, like a magician, just like magic. The sun is going to come through for you. A reconciliation, a risk taken. Someone's going to flirt with you. They're going to create with you. For some of you, this could also possibly also speak to pregnancy if you're uh, at the age of being able to fall pregnant but you're going to have a, a, a love a love life it could be I mean the sun rules the natural fifth house it could be flirtation but it could also be a lot of uh, heating up a lot of you know intimacy hello hello uh, good luck with that and I'm going to say you could be dealing with someone that can pull a rabbit out of a hat unless that is your energy because the ace is the magician right communication messages someone putting you on a pedestal it's like you being the sun in their life or the other way around Pisces good luck good luck with that how beautiful was that anyway my dear friends I think I will leave it there I want to thank you so much for liking sharing subscribing and commenting my god how long is this reading I think that we've um, done the longest reading uh, out of all times. So you may want to come back to this as we're going through the Christmas break. Uh, check it out once more. I will be putting timestamps for the individual signs. Um, so you could jump to your, um, your own sign. Um, all right, and I think that that's it. I think that that is it. I want to thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, um, even considering joining us on Patreon, um, considering supporting us through your donations, through your super chats, through purchasing a reading. Love you all lots. Love and light to all of you. Talk to you soon.